Welcome to Tech News Briefing. It's Monday, July 24th. I'm Zoe Thomas for The Wall Street Journal. Sergey Brin is the co-founder of Google. But for a long time, you wouldn't have found him at the company's offices in Mountain View, California. He took a back seat in recent years to other Google leaders, including its CEO Sundar Pichai. But things have changed, and Brin is now back helping Google's efforts in artificial intelligence. Our reporter Miles Krupa has been covering this, and he joins me now. Miles, Sergey Brin stepped back from daily work at Google, so what has his role been over the past few years? Yeah, I mean, technically on paper, he was a board member, so he sat on the board with Larry Page, the other Google co-founder, and together they still controlled a majority of the voting power in the company. But after they stepped down from executive roles in 2019, they really didn't have any day-to-day function at the company itself. But now you're reporting he's back in the office. What do we know about what he's been doing? We heard from a few people that Sergey is basically in the office at least three to four days a week. And it seems that he's spending a lot of his time with artificial intelligence researchers who are working on this one project in particular called Gemini. And Google has built these really large artificial intelligence systems in the past, but Gemini is promised to be bigger and better than all of them. And so Sergey is sitting among these researchers, asking questions, helping lead reviews of new AI research, And also, crucially, he's helping to hire some really highly sought-after AI researchers. You mentioned he's working on this Project Gemini. How important is that project to Google's AI efforts? Google is certainly positioning it as critically important. And our understanding is that Google wants to get this out by the end of the year. And the goal is to basically create this really general-purpose AI model that's super powerful and can be used for all sorts of tasks. Things like generating texts, like what you see in ChatGPT or Google's Bard, or even images and maybe video. Google has talked about it being, quote, multimodal, which means multimedia, basically. So you could envision this kind of AI system powering all sorts of Google products, everything from YouTube to Gmail to even the core search engine. When did Bryn's involvement ramp back up? He started coming back to the company a little bit at the end of last year. Both he and Larry, the other co-founder, participated in some meetings with executives about AI products. But it's really over the past few months that Sergey in particular has been spotted much more frequently. What do we know about why he's become more active? That's sort of the million-dollar question. He's clearly excited by this moment in artificial intelligence. His last letter to shareholders from 2018 was all about AI and how it was the biggest breakthrough in computation in his lifetime. So there's a demonstrated interest there. Do we know how his presence is being felt by the people that he's working with or by leaders at Google? Our understanding is that He's not really up to speed on all the technical details of the latest and greatest in AI. So he's not really coming in and, you know, exerting significant influence over technical matters, over the code that goes into these projects. But as far as we're aware, people who have worked with him are excited by his presence. It's exciting to be around a guy who's this sort of legendary computer scientist who co-founded one of the most important internet companies ever. And he's, in a way, kind of a mascot for these AI researchers working on this really big project. He's there to encourage, he's there to ask questions, um, he's there to help them get over roadblocks. Our understanding is that Sundar Pichai, the CEO, also welcomes his presence. Naturally, there will always be questions when somebody like Sergey comes back and doesn't really have an official role, but he's floating around and he still owns all these shares in the company and he has this sort of looming presence. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out over time. Did we hear from Bryn at all about his return? 
We did not. A spokeswoman for Brin did not respond to our request for comment. But we did hear from Google. The company said he does not have any new formal title. He is still just co-founder and board member. Co-founder, board member, guy floating around the AI office. What do we know about the other co-founder, Larry Page? Has he taken a more active role recently? Larry was sitting in on some of the same AI meetings late last year. But in general, nobody's really seen Larry around the offices in the same way they've seen Sergey. Larry suffers from a rare vocal cord paralysis, and that's sort of affected his public profile over the years. And he's generally just been a bit more reclusive than Sergey, even on the sort of tech social scene. All right, that's our reporter, Miles Krupa, who covers Google. And that's it for today's tech news briefing. If you want more tech stories, check out our website, wsj.com. I'm Zoe Thomas for The Wall Street Journal. Thanks for listening.